Hey everyone, it's Carmen with KT Vocal Studio and today's lesson is going to be on the GUG exercise. Now again, if you've not watched my Just for Basics, or excuse me, Just Basics video, go ahead and pause here and go back to that one so that you'll know about the posture and support and some of the verbiage that I use that will probably make it much more understandable than to just watch this video because I'm going to assume that you've already seen that video. Okay, so back when I talked about the Q exercise, um, I talked about the cognates K and G. So those are sounds that are made pretty much identically, except one is voiced and one is voiceless. The K sound is the voiceless one, the G is the voiced. So it's, those are really cool um, consonants because when you breathe in, we have something really interesting that happens before we speak or before we sing. We hold our breath just ever so slightly. Um, so when you take a breath, you have to hold your breath just a little bit in order for it to have some subglottal pressure and for it to come through and your cords to vibrate. So the K and the G sound kind of do that automatically. It makes your brain do everything in tandem. So not just to do the K or the G sound, but to also make the vowel so you don't slur up to it. So that's pretty much what we're learning today on the U sound. Now, this one is going to help thicken up your cords a little bit, um, which is fine. It's just that when you get higher, I only want you to go as high as comfortable. So a lot of singers today um, in pop and especially musical theater, they get that nya, nya, nya sound and it can sound really brassy if you don't balance that with a more ooh or open vowel sound. So um, I want this, this is also for teachers, just if you have a student who is very brassy and you're trying to do something to kind of help them, you know, uh, balance them out, this is a very good exercise for that, both this one and the one after the gug exercise. So on the ooh, we need to make sure that we're properly aligned because sometimes people try to lift that chin out and not only that, but they go ooh, goo, 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 and that's tension. We don't want that and it's not in the proper alignment. We want that jaw to actually be back. So I'm going to turn sideways and kind of give you the two extremes. The goo, 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 goo. We don't want that. We want that neck to go back, earlobes over shoulder blades, make sure you're tall and it's and it's very easy. Now, these exercises, they're funny and silly and they're not exactly beautiful, so I don't want you to try to make them beautiful. It's just you're learning how to, uh, how to get them in a certain place, your vowels with your consonant vowel combinations that we're doing to go seamlessly all the way up and down your range. So you may hit a certain part and it feels like you're tense. When you do that, Check your alignment, check your support too, but especially your alignment. So get in front of a mirror and watch yourself. If you see something starting to happen, like you're trying to grab a note, then stop and then try to assess and not grab. Um, sometimes I have students um, lay down on the floor, on their back, on maybe a yoga mat or something and put their knees up so that their back is comfortable and to go up and down some exercises just to see if they are trying to lift and your body will tell you if you're trying to do it and it's just a habit that you're going to have to break so ma making yourself aware of it is very good and going to a very good a good teacher um, is also a, a good way of having another set of eyes to see what you're doing or just a friend say hey what's going on and singing and something's going on this exercise well you can't do this and go high if you do it's strenuous and it's, a, it's really really ugly sounding not in a good way and just thinking about it makes me go Ugh. So let's not do that. So I'm going to start on a B flat. Um, so again, if you feel like you are put, uh, jutting your, your uh, neck forward or your chin up, go ahead and get a finger and just keep your finger here just to remind yourself to stay back. You're not going to force yourself back or anything like that. You're just going to have it in your mind. Okay, I'm not going to jut out. So it's going to go like this. Don't overthink it, but you may want to put a little bit more of an accent on that very first note, so that bottom note, which right now is in E flat. So you're going to have that accent, you're going to let your upper notes just kind of happen, and then go back down and be strong on that same note. So um, the, uh, the E flat is going to be, the lower E flat, E flat 4 is going to be the strong note, and strong again. So that will help you a little bit. So let's start back here on the D, Goog. so ready, and keep your chin where it needs to be. Now, when you go 
get really high and you're like, this isn't easy, I want you to go ahead and change the G to more of a K. Now you're not going to totally go to a K, but you're going to kind of give some of the K elements in, meaning you're going to put some, um, it's going to be voiceless more than it is voiced. So let's go back to, down to the E and try to put on the top note a little bit more of a K. And forgive me, there are kids outside screaming, so. But it's hot and I had to have the windows open. Anyway, back to this. Goog, ready? Goog, 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 goog. So as you go up, you're changing to that K just a little bit. Goog, 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 goog. But always come back down to the G. Goog, 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 goog. So you're going to start with that G, and if you had to go up to the K sound, that's fine. One more. Goog, 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 goog. yourself aligned um, and they're a great it's a great exercise um, and again if, if you're used to being yeah 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 up there it may be a little tough to kind of let that happen and again one other thing um, acoustics the way your body understands and comprehends a lower sound that it's singing as opposed to a higher sound it's going to feel different it does not mean that your chords and I have to say this every time it does not mean that your chords have ma magically moved anywhere else in your body they have not your body's just understanding that you're in a different place and that's perfectly fine and perfectly normal um, don't overthink it oh I feel it in my eyeballs so what it's fine it just it means that you're going to a different acoustical place in your um, in your body so I hope this is helpful I may not have covered every single issue with this particular exercise but I can um, do some basic ones if you're interested in having a voice lesson with me I would love it um, I'll put a link um, down uh, to contact me about a voice lesson and um, yeah have a great rest of your day singing